So I will begin by saying that these machines I have in front of me do not, uh, they pale, what I'm going to do with them will pale in comparison to what Mark Applebaum and Pamela Z have done. But um, I've basically taken some of those ideas and in a very simple way applied them to some pop music. So this is a, this is a song called Whatever You Want. Say 
Thank you. I'm really, really glad to be here at TEDx Stanford for many reasons, but one of which is that I don't actually get to perform much anymore. Uh, I am a graduate student uh, in a dual degree program. And uh, what I realized about midway through is that I'm actually getting a degree in being bipolar. <laughs> because uh, on the one hand, I spent a lot of time at a business school where it's all about action and competition, growth, and uh, getting a lot of people together and just making something happen and kind of figuring it out as we go. And on the other hand, I go to the environmental school where it's all about the need for patience, the need for the long view, um, deeper understanding the complexity of systems and the fragility of all of these systems that we rely on. And often I come away with the sense that it's too late already. <laughs> you know, that there's so much for us to learn and so much for us to grapple with and we don't, as a society, actually have the tools yet to kind of turn our ship around. And so I live with these two realities, this, this boundless excitement and also this, um, this really kind of deep depression in some ways. And I, now when I sit down at the piano, I actually come to it with a newfound gratitude because I've realized in this time that I've gone back to school is that music is a place where for me, those two things can kind of come together, that those two poles can combine. And you can actually take profound despair and profound optimism and hope and kind of pull them together into one song. And when you sing, you can actually sing both those truths at the same time. And that's one of the really beautiful things to me about art. And it's actually not until I left doing it full time that I really realized the profound importance of art to me personally and music to me. And uh, so with that really heady thought <laughs> in mind, I would actually like to do this next song with all of you. And uh, some of you uh, came over at lunch and were nice enough to learn a little bit of the song, but I'd actually like all of you to sing it, whether you th think you can sing or not. And uh, we also have some uh, other musicians making a reappearance from this morning. Please welcome back Stanford Tycho. And so this song is called Soon Love Soon. I wrote it while actually I was a junior, um, or maybe a senior here at Stanford. And uh, it goes like this. Soon love soon ooh. Try that Soon love soon ooh. That's absolutely beautiful Try that again Soon love soon ooh. Soon love soon ooh. I'm going to teach you another part now And we will be as one going to become an orchestra, no florist, but um, <laughs> a choir and a percussion orchestra, and it's going to be amazing. Thank you. It's called Soon Love Soon.
will know that to be a part is to be truly whole. We will know the pattern of centuries rise and fall. We will know that the fate of one is the fate of all. Stanford Tycho. Thank you so much.